What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Tyree Gillespie, uh, safety out of Missouri. Now, this dude is fantastic. He is a senior, and he plays like it. He plays like he, he knows what he's doing. Uh, he's six foot and 210 pounds, so size-wise, you would probably think strong safety. Um, and I think he can play strong safety, but I think he can do a lot of other things, too. Um, first of all, he's pretty damn fast. He's got some range to him. Now, I wouldn't say he's like a super uh, rangy safety, you know. Like, he can um, be a single high safety in a pinch, but I don't want him doing it a whole lot. Um, but if you're doing halves of the field, like if you're, in a, if you're a cover two team, this dude is perfect for you. Um, if he just has to go from the hash mark to the sideline. I think that's perfect for him. Um, Because he definitely does have enough speed to close there. But I'd say that his speed and ranginess is very good, but I wouldn't call it elite. Um, But it is better than all the safeties I've seen so far. But um, I still have a little while to go on that. Um, He's also very, very good against the run. Uh, his IQ, I don't know if I'd say his IQ, more so his instincts are very good. Um, he's very good at sniffing out where the ball carrier is trying to go and uh, going to make a tackle. And he is a thumper, man. He loves to hit. He relishes contact. Um, Najee Harris is debatably the best running back in this class, and he's mostly known as a power back. If you're watching this video and you're familiar with the draft, you probably know who he is. This dude stopped Najee Harris in his tracks on the goal line by himself. I'm gonna let, just let, <laughs> let that sink in. They collided. Najee Harris went backwards. So that told me everything I needed to know. And this dude hits everything. And his ability to accelerate quickly and go and make a tackle. Like I like I said, I don't think his top speed is that crazy, but his acceleration is fantastic. Um he's a very very solid tackler. Not only can he hit, but he will also wrap up on you too. Um his hips are really good. He doesn't struggle to flip his hips in a hurry to make whatever play he needs to make depending on the situation. Um I will say, uh, he doesn't have any interceptions, but based on the film, people don't really throw at him that much. His, he's pretty damn good in coverage, in zone and man. Um, they put him up against Kyle Pitts from Florida, and he did pretty well against him, to be honest. I think he can be a fairly solid tight end buster in the NFL. I really do. Now, obviously, the people like Travis Kelsey, they're going to get their catches no matter what. But I think he can match up against most tight ends fairly effectively. Um, and like I said, he can play some single high things. I just wouldn't want him to do it too often because the really fast receivers will give him some str- will give him some challenges if he's got to get to the sideline quickly. Um, let's see. And I also seen him move around quite a bit. They put him at free safety. Uh, they put him single high. They do they do cover two things with him. They put him in the slot. They put him in the box. Uh, they just do a bunch of things with him, and I would too. I think he can do. I think he can bring a lot of things to you, especially based on what matchup you're up against. So if you're like against, um, if you're against, say San Fran, where their biggest weapon is George Kittle, you're probably gonna want him in the box to. Guard George Kittle. If you're up against, I don't know, the Packers, right? You might want to have him back a little bit, or even Kansas City. Just name a passing team. Steelers right now, whatever. You might want him back in coverage a little bit more. And he's good at man and zone. He's got fantastic instincts. Um, he reads quarterbacks' eyes very well. He just hasn't had inter- very many opportunities to get interceptions. But um, he closes on people very, very well. So I, I think he will probably end up with some picks in the league. 
Um, personally, uh, as far as position goes, I think a cover two safety would be ideal for him. I think that would be the best fit. Um, just covering half of the field, not too much single high. You want two men deep. If you're doing stuff like that with him a lot, he's going to be very dominant. But even if you're not that type of team, he can play strong safety. He can play free safety. He can play in the box. You can move him around quite a bit, and he's going to succeed for you. And overall, I, I, he's just a fantastic prospect. Um, this is, the, I think, the first safety I've talked about this year. Uh, I, I've watched some others. I'm just not ready to give my opinion on them yet. Um, but this dude is fantastic. He's going to be a senior bowl guy, so I think his draft stock is probably going to go up. But I just don't see that many people talking about him right now. Um, but I, I, I think he's way underrated right now. Um, I wasn't even planning on doing defensive backs right now. But uh, honestly, I'm right, right now I'm going through quarterbacks and offensive linemen. And I just wanted to watch somebody else. It's just another position, just to break it up a little bit for myself, um, just for my own sanity. Um, so I went some. I went and watched a couple DBs. So, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I think that's gonna be it for this video. If you liked it, I appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.